Hello and welcome to the podcast Turning Point on NDTV with me Rika Roy. This is a sports show where we discuss about the stories of athletes. At the end of the Paralympic Games a story that has stood out is how many of them were subjected to bullying, rejection and often told that they were not good enough. Let's listen in to high jumper and bronze medalist Sharad Kumar on his years of suffering. Sharad was a victim of polio from his early years. He went to one of the prestigious boarding schools in the country in the northeastern part of India. And there he was subjected to bullying by older boys because of his disability. Bullying is a काफी सीरियस इशू है चाहे आप स्कूल में देखें इंस्टीट्यूट कॉलेजेस में देखें बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स वो पास आउट वो छोड़ देते हैं इंस्टीट्यूट्स को कि वो बुली हो रहे हैं और लोग सोचते हैं कि मैं अभी स्कूल में बुलिंग किया हूं कॉलेज में बुलिंग किया हूं तो बाद में जाकर सॉरी बोल दूंगा स्कूल डेज था लेकिन द इम्प्लीकेशन डजन एंड देयर द पीपल सफर ट्रामाज ऑफ इट लेटर एंड दोज आर वेरी डेंजरस ट्रामाज ये बुलिंग का जो सिचुएशन है मुझे जैसे मेरे स्कूल में भी कुछ बच्चे थे सीनियर्स थे बुलिंग करते थे लेकिन वो सोचते थे कि जैसे स्कूल निकल गया तो बोल देंगे कि हाँ आई एम सॉरी यार मैं तो स्कूल में था लेकिन वहां उसके लिए खत्म हो गया जिस लड़के को आपने बुली किया उसके लिए तो स्टार्ट हुआ है जब उसका नाइट में वो चीजें हो जाने लगते हैं और ये आई एम पार्ट ऑफ इट आई एम एक्चुअली टेलिंग इट टूली दैट आई स्टिल हैव नाइट मेज ऑफ द थिंग्स आई वॉज बुलीड विथ एंड आई स्टिल गेर इट आई ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स इन माई सर्कल नोज इट कि मैं जो स्कूल में बुलीड हुआ था आई वॉज बीटन आई वॉज टीज आई स्टिल गो थ्रू इट आई शिवर वन आई स्लीप ऑफकोर्स आई शिवर और कभी कभी याद भी आता है कि ऐसा हुआ है मेरे साथ थिंग्स आर देर और वो खत्म नहीं होता है ये सब चीजें पीपल मैं काफी पॉलिटिशियंस को ईमेल भी किया था कि सर आप लोग हर चीज इश्यूज उठाते हैं कभी आप बुलिंग का इश्यू उठाइए कॉलेजेस में रैगिंग का इश्यू उठाइए ये सब इश्यू बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स को ना उनके लाइफ तक पहुंचने नहीं देते हैं उनको उसी टाइम में फिनिश कर जाते हैं बोलते कि अब क्या करें हम बहुत कमजोर है तो अब... सुमित आपको भी झेलना पड़ा ही पर्सनली सर जैसे आ, मैं ऐसे ही रहता हूँ लाइक गेम तो मैं जब स्टेडियम में जाता हूँ हाफ पेंट्स में जाता हूँ बुलिंग तो नहीं झेलनी पड़ी लेकिन जो लाइक देखते हैं लोग पैर की वो तो थोड़ा फील होता है सर लेकिन अब तो काफी सुधार आ गया उस चीज में सबसे ज्यादा मुझे झेलनी पड़ी अच्छा बताइए <laughs> क्या क्योंकि उस टाइम में मैं जब नौ दस साल की उम्र में जो घटना हुई उसके बाद घर से निकलता था ना बहुत बुरी नजर से देखते थे क्या हो गया आते नहीं आपके पैसे ये उसके बाद जब स्कूल में एंट्री की तो मेरा इंटरेस्ट था स्पोर्ट्स में तो मैंने देखा ऐसे तो मैं एक दिन ग्राउंड में चला गया तो मेरे को बहुत क्वेश्चन किए क्यों आया ग्राउंड में आपका क्या काम है ग्राउंड में आप तो फिजिकली चैलेंज हो स्कूल क्लास रूम में बैठिए तो कहीं ना कहीं मुझे गुस्सा भी आया उस बात पे फिर मैंने कहा चलो मैं कमजोर नहीं कहलाऊंगा मैं गेम ही करूंगा मैंने वहां शुरुआत की फिर गेम की फिर मैंने उन बच्चों को हराया गेम में फिर मैं वहां डिस्ट्रिक्ट का चैंपियन बना पहली दफा तब मैंने कहा मेरे को कोई कमजोर नहीं कहेगा तो वहां उस टाइम में बहुत ज्यादा था तो बुलिंग हमेशा एक सीरियस इशू रहा है और मुझे लगता है कि रिका इस जो पैरालंपिक गेम्स का जो मूवमेंट है और खासकर जिस तरह से आप लोग मेडल जीत रहे हैं ये बहुत स्ट्रांग मैसेज दे रहा है क्रॉस इंडिया क्रॉस वर्ल्ड बिल्कुल वो लोग वही लोग कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट करते हैं बिल्कुल सही कर वही सेम पर्सन मैसेजेस करते हैं कि कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन यू मेड द थिंग्स प्राउड बट इट डजेंट स्टिल एन देर नो इट डजेंट सो यू हर्ट शरद कुमार also devendra jhajharia the javelin expert who has won three medals for india two gold medals and a silver medal in this edition of the games and also sumit antil india's maiden gold medalist in para javelin from this edition of the games now sharad had polio devendra had lost one of his arm and sumit one of his legs in an accident all of them had to overcome several social obstacles on the way to the Tokyo podium all these men delivering impactful performances but their journeys have been anything but easy to talk about what it would have taken them to overcome bullying stares discouragement i have with me dr samir parekh director of mental health at fortis healthcare who has the experience of working with several athletes and helping them to reach their highest potential Dr. Parikh thank you very very much for joining me on this podcast turning point 
Sharad Kumar, uh, the Paralympian, he spoke about uh, bullying very powerfully. Um, he said how he was bullied, beaten during his time at the boarding school. How tough do you think one needs to be, you know, mentally tough to overcome all of this and end up on the Olympic podium? Uh, two aspects, Rika. Two aspects. Uh... I mean, goes without saying, it requires an absolute mammoth uh, strength of character, will, and it's all inspiring uh, for any individual to be able to raise the bar of their performance and reach heights, and you know, able to uh, inspire others. There is no debate and question around it. But I think what we also need to understand. It's not only about an individual's abilities, personality, or strategies that they are able to utilize when they are exposed to bullying. I think we need to understand that bullying is a major problem, and not just that it's a major problem. The impact of bullying is virtually lifelong, and it requires a lot of support for the individual. Which may require support from school, from teachers, from counselors, from parents, friends, everybody, so that the impact of bullying does not have a long-term debilitating effect on an individual. So, what would your message to boys and girls be who get bullied? Um, what will you tell them? Um, if you kind of give them some. Um, some tools to overcome uh, the challenges that they face on a day-to-day basis, maybe. So now let's look at this as three aspects, not just those who've gone through bullying, but let's look at three aspects. And here I'm talking about schools because a lot of bullying starts in schools. So one, there is the individual who is bullying the bully. Then there is the bullied, and then there is a bystander or the observer. Now, all three need to have a role here. One, we need to first ensure, which is the role of the environment, that the person who's being bullied needs to be completely safe, separated, and the safe space should be there in that environment that the bully can not continue bullying. The bully, as a young person in school, also needs help, needs to go through counseling and support, and that behavior needs to be stopped. Otherwise, this individual will continue to express this. With different people lifelong. Second is the bystander. We need to ensure that all observers, all people who are there in their environment, intervene at the right time and prevent bullying. Most bullying continues because observers don't react. And then there is the role of the institution. Zero tolerance to bullying at all levels, whether mm-hmm. it is at school level, college level, organization level, field level. Or virtually. And then comes the role of the person who is being bullied. If you are being bullied, one, reach authority immediately. It's not only for you to find a solution because it's not only about you. There's somebody else who's transgressing. So one, reach authority, seek help immediately. Second, understand it's not your flaw or your limitation. So don't allow somebody else's misbehavior to impact the way you look at yourself. Three, be willing to go through a process to resolve if any impact emotionally has happened on you, whether it's by talking to friends, family, teachers or a counsellor. Fourth, continue to believe in yourself and do not let any other person take away from you what you are because what you are your personality, your aptitude, your motivation, your attitude, your skill set, your knowledge, all of that is always going to be your pillar and nobody can shake it. Doc, uh, since you have also worked with a lot of athletes, um, can you give me an instance where an athlete may have been shaken because of bullying and uh, it took a lot for him or her to come back? So you will get a lot of kinds of uh, bullying episodes, incidents. I mean, that I have also seen over the past uh, two decades. You'll get bullying where 
young, especially at a grassroots young level, where bullying happens by seniors who would um, bring a person down, over criticize the person. I have seen young prodigies leaving uh, the sport because they couldn't go on the field again, and then uh, coming for help, and then gradually finding their own. Uh, uh, mark back there, but you need to realize that when that kind of an incident happens, that you almost think of not going there, then you're already against all odds to be able to perform because you've been hit hard here. I've also come across uh, where at times it is the staff, uh, the coaching staff, the seniors, at times directly, maybe even without the intention to bully. But the style of conversation, the pushing can actually become a form of bullying and that can impact the self-esteem of a player. So, for example, if you have not done well today, it's one way to help you understand how you can perform better, understand what went wrong today. You can use various aspects of motivation and guidance, but sometimes when that becomes a form of uh, nagging or bullying or gets rough, um, is over personalized then that also has an impact because it shakes up the confidence of people and on this note i have to say this that somewhere uh, we also need to understand that um, all forms of sport need to really look into uh, sledging and uh, mm-hmm. very important all sports need to look at sledging i think it's um, not good role modeling Young people are watching, these are heroes and, you know, role models of people and it's absolutely not okay for them to behave in a certain way. And uh, sport is something that we play for joy. We play for, you know, it, it's such a skill building, joyful activity. Um, I think world federations need to look at uh, getting rid of sledging as well. Because if you don't do that now, tomorrow it might turn into something a lot more uglier and it also needs to be seen as a form of bullying. It's very important message that you're giving that sledging is another thing that we need to tackle in high level sports, men or women. And uh, we've heard several stories, even in women's sports, where, you know, they shy away because of uh, sledging, body shaming and a lot of other things. But one interesting thing, which I will really have to ask you, um, bullying and discouragement, can they act as turning point, turning point either way? Either it motivates the athlete to, uh, you know, take up larger challenges or it completely demotivates them. Rika, the honest answer, it's not worth it. Because even if, let's say, in one in hundred thousand people, it may have been a turning point. The odds are that individuals who go through bullying are a lot more likely to struggle, not just in their sport but with their relationships in their life, with their self. So if anybody is even trying to say that, you know, I use bullying to motivate, really need to think hard and introspect because uh, the damage will outnumber and overweigh any benefits that will be there. I have to ask you about the other side of the spectrum, the bully. Um, Have you ever encountered bullies who then come to you uh, with remorse saying that I have been this big bully in school or college or, you know, in some point in life and I feel that I have done something really wrong and how can I save myself at this point? Yes, and I'll say this happens across the age group. A lot many more uh, people who would reach me who have been bullies are going to be a lot younger people because somewhere in school, early college, they realize that it's gone overboard because they start losing uh, people around them. You must understand that you may, person A may be bullying person B and may be friends with C, but eventually C may also start feeling uncomfortable around A. Bullies don't have great relationships and eventually don't really perform too well uh, across the board and strata of life. And yes, uh, have also come across uh, young adults who look back at their behavior and have regret and sometimes uh, need help for that. Thank you very much, Doctor, for shedding light on this issue that we've been really concerned about ever since Sharad Kumar started talking about it very, very powerfully. 
For some, bullying leaves uh, permanent scars. There are some who turn these moments around and give them a positive spin. Just like Krishna Nagar, the badminton gold medalist from the Paralympic Games, Krishna is a man of short stature. He is all of 4 feet 5 inches. To him, a badminton court may at times even look like a tennis court. But he has charmed one and all with his jump smashes. All through his life, Krishna was subjected to several derogatory slur. Listen into Krishna Nagar. When I went to badminton court for the first time, everyone said to me, what would you play? So I requested him to play in the court. So he said, okay, go. 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 So he said, okay, तो जब देखते थे, अब देख-देख के जो हमने सुबह देखा है, वो हम शाम को ट्राई करते थे कि चलते कैसे कोर्ट पर, तो थोड़ा-थोड़ा वो मिट्टी-मिट्टी में बना के कोर्ट बोर्ड बना के हमने, तो एक दिन जब मैं गया था, फादर लेके गए थे, तो उन्होंने बोला कि तुम्हें तुम क्या ही खेलोगे, कि इतने लम इतने तो वो भी थोड़ा शॉक हो गए थे क्योंकि अरे फर्स्ट टाइम पे मतलब ऐसे खेल रहे तो तब वहाँ पर उन्होंने बोला कि ट्रेनिंग जब मेरा स्टार्ट हुआ था वहाँ पर से दोबारा कृष्णा आप जैसे कह रहे थे कि कई जगह आपने बोला कि जिन लोगों ने आपको चढ़ाया उनके लिए ये जवाब है अब इस स्तर पे आप मैसेज देना चाहेंगे कि जो बॉडी शेमिंग है या हम जो स्लेज करते हैं है ना पैरा बॉडीज के जो लोग होते हैं उनको बोलते हैं उनके लिए आप मैसेज देना चाहेंगे जैसे कि मैंने आपको पहले भी बोला था मैंने इस चीज को नेगेटिव वे पे नहीं लिया नहीं लिया मैंने इसको पॉजिटिव वे पे लिया तो मैं आज इस इस जगह पर आपके सामने बैठ के इंटरव्यू को दे रहा हूँ बिल्कुल मेरा यही कहना है कि समय जो टाइम होता है वो कभी भी चेंज हो सकता है क्या पता मेरे आगे जाके मेरे जैसे किसी और का टाइम अच्छा आ जाए तो वो और भी जागे जो ऊपर जाए, so मेरे हिसाब से समय बहुत बड़ी चीज है। लेकिन सोसाइटी को सेंसिटिव होने की जरूरत है। सोसाइटी को थोड़ा चेंज ऐसा नेचुरल है वो कि मुझे लगता है कि अब सोसाइटी बहुत चेंज हो चुकी है। पर आपको कभी ये लगा कि जो शॉर्ट स्टेचर के लोग हैं, उनको जिस नजरिए से वो और जैसे कि धीरे-धीरे डेवलप हो रहा है तो मेंटलिटी बहुत चेंज हो रहा है अभी लोगों का तो होप्स होगी आगे और मेंटलिटी इंप्रूव होगी तो ये सब चीजें जो भी चल रहा है वो सब चीजें कवर हो जाएगी और जैसे कि पैरा स्पोर्ट्स का अगर अगर और थोड़ा प्रमोशन और थोड़ा सपोर्ट मिलेगा तो और भी गेम्स खेलेंगे Despite society not being very kind to several of them, these men, women, India's Paralympians have scaled peaks. Perhaps their achievements will change mindset and compel the society to look at persons with disability with a lot more respect, a lot more empathy and spare them from derogatory slurs as well as bullying. We will continue to discuss lot more issues on Turning Point if you have an issue that you want me to discuss with my guests on the show, you can mail me on rika at ndtv.com. For now, it's a goodbye from me and all of us. <laughs>